Hello everyone, Will again here. Finally, the sun is back. We've had a week, 10 days of some not very nice weather. Well, it's not been raining too much, but there hasn't been any sun. But today it is back out and we are gonna be talking about flushing the ewes. So what we're doing today is basically moving the ewes onto some fresh pasture. I'll explain it all as we get into the video so that you all understand. But I hope you enjoyed today, guys. And if you do, please give the video a massive like you want to see more stuff like this just smash that subscribe button and don't forget videos every wednesday and saturday at half seven in the morning cheers guys i hope you enjoy it Right guys, so we are back. It is the day after because we had a major mess up with the camera, but we're gonna get into it and talk a bit more about flushing, why we do it and how we do it. So basically guys, what flushing is, is basically trying to get the ewe to have more lambs. By doing this, what we do, we put the ewes onto some poorer pasture and then 17 days later, we put them onto some really nice pasture. So what this does is basically increase the nutritional plane of the ewe. So simply, basically, you get some nicer food and it tricks its body in thinking that it should have more lambs. So we have now moved into the field where the ewes were previously, and this is where they've been grazing for a few months. So we've kept them a bit tight, um, a bit less food so that their condition score drops. Condition score basically means how fit they are and how fat they are. So we don't want them too fit going into tupping else they get like obese and then they have lambing problems. But also if you increase the nutritional plane and increase the body condition score, as you go up to tupping, it means they have more lambs. But just yeah, go around here. This is the grass they're in. So um, some dead stuff in here. It's not the best grazing. It has grown a little bit because obviously they haven't been grazing it for the last few um, days. But they go from this onto really nice pasture, which I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. But this is such an important uh, management thing that you do with sheep, enabling you to get more lambs. So for example, if you don't flush ewes, um, they will have less lambs. So what this does, it basically turns the ewes that would have one or two lambs into ewes that would have two or three. So this means that your lambing percentage jumps from like 150 to 180, 200%. So what it means is basically 100 is one lamb, 200 is two lambs. So percentage wise, it means over the whole flock, that's how many lambs you'll have. So 100 ewes, 150% is 150 lambs, just to keep it simple. So it's so important as a business to have more lambs. Um, it doesn't cost you anything more. It's just management practice and a lot of sheep farmers actually do this. So basically one of the things to do every year so we also give them mineral buckets to ensure that they have the right mineral balance in the diet as well as the really nice grass to ensure as they go to breeding they have the best chance of developing those lambs so basically they might have the lambs too so they might get in lamb to free lambs but if the nutritional intake isn't good enough they'll actually absorb the eggs so the um, fertilized eggs and they won't have those lambs so guys I hope I haven't gone into that too complicated, but that's basically what we do. Um, I know that I've edited the rest of the video, so the rest of it is actually all right with the camera. So we'll skip back to that and we'll get the use moved. Oh yeah, one thing I actually did forget is I said about the 17 day cycle of a U. So basically this is every 17 slash 18 days, the U will release its eggs to be fertilized. So what we basically do is try and time this in with lambing and tupping so what you want to do is try and lamp over a 17 day period and you try and work in those kind of periods when you're doing stuff so the cycle before they go into the top they're going onto that really nice grass so that they release as many eggs as possible as they're being flushed and the tups go in impregnate them and that kind of does the trick with flushing i hope that was quite understandable we'll now get the use moved again
Right guys, so that is all the used moves. As you can probably see, they've all got their heads down and they're all grazing because look at this. This is some amazing grazing. This is literally the best the sheep could have. And as you can see here, they're grazing away very nicely. Um, it is a very short video guys, but it is such an important video because this is one of the most important things in getting the ewe ready for tupping. So I thought it'd be a shame to miss it. And yeah guys, that is us done. It'll soon be tupping time. So the tups will be in here in 17 days. The teaser tup will be in here in three or four days. So basically the vasectomized tup will come into here. So that's what brings them onto heat even better. So there's loads of tricks of the trade to get these in line. Um, in the first cycle. I'll talk all about that in the next video guys because um, the teasers will be going in very soon but massive thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting. Um, such a nice evening. The sun's out. The ewes are all grazing. Massive thank you guys. If you did enjoy it please give the video a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this just smash that subscribe button and don't forget videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven in the morning. Cheers guys. I'll see you next time.